the kingdom of God is near is meaning that the kingdom of God is now. The called out ones, which uh in John 17, 16 is meaning uh that Yeshua has brought us out of the world, just as he's out of the world, meaning We've been called out. Ecclesia in Greek. The Greek word Ecclesia means to call out. The called out ones. John 17, 16 is saying that we are called out just as Jesus is called out. He's been brought out of the world. He's been brought out of the world. But before Jesus uh, went back into the kingdom, meaning born again, he was here physically as an example and to tell the good news and to die for us. So Jesus went through some things that we're going through and that we're going to go through before we all come together as his bride. We have When we come together, when the second coming of Christ comes, we're all going to come together as his bride, meaning that the kingdom, we're now as that kingdom. When we all come together, the called out ones first, when we come together, we're going to be part of the first resurrection after the second coming of Christ. Christ, but as spread out ones, those who are called out is the kingdom, but we're the kingdom in embryo, huh? In embryo, we are not developed all the way there yet. We're the kingdom in embryo. Once God put his spirit in us, individual, individuals called out ones, when God put his spirit in us, we have received that Holy Spirit, and now we're becoming, we're becoming, we have to develop, we're that embryo right now, so we have to develop into that mature, spiritual, godly character that God need us to be, and then when we're there, when we're all there, when we're all there, then the kingdom is is what it is, when Jesus, when Jesus comes, we're mature enough to, to, to take over. But I don't want to lose people. Now, the church is the kingdom of God in embryo, meaning not yet born. <laughs> we are embryos right now. Just like when the father impregnate the, the, the mother, the baby is an embryo or fetus. The baby is not born as a fetus. The baby is not born as an embryo, right? The baby has to develop. So the father has begotten that child. The child is now waiting and, and got to go through some things, got to get nourished, got to get, you know, physical trained and whatever. The baby got to get his nutrition and the mother got to get her shots and stuff like that so the baby could be healthy when they're born. Same for us spiritually. We are just embryos. Huh? We are spiritual embryos. We're kingdom and embryo. <laughs> Because we have been first begotten by our Father with the Holy Spirit. So, we are not yet born. Not yet born, though, and not yet developed very far. Only an embryo or a fetus, so to speak. Unborn, but begotten. We are the kingdom of God in embryo. All right. Now. We are priests and we're the kingdom, but we cannot lose that. It's, it's the, we got our, our, our name on our crowns. See, we can lose that just like a mother could lose her baby before the baby is born. Huh? Things can happen. God stated that even the elect, even the elect will be lost. Most of the true church is lost right now. But those who, who are predestined can lose it. Yeah. When we decide, when we decide, because Satan is real clever. He's brilliant. People got to understand that. I, I don't understand why people keep saying, we need to ignore the devil. We always talk about the devil. We, she always talking about Satan. We have to. That's, that's, who, that's who we're amongst. That's why Jesus had to pull us out of the world so we can be able to attack the world. If we're, if we're still left in this world spiritually, then how are we going to fight ourselves? 
How are we going to fight ourselves? How are we going to fight each other if if we're living shenanigan along with the wicked? That don't make sense. We have to be drawn out. In order to fight against the world. That's what we're here to do. And if someone who claims they're called don't understand that, then they're not called. People are claiming that they call because they're just trying to get YouTube hits. That's it. They just they just want your money. You got the late old seal churches out here, the church building. They just want your money. That's all. I don't want your money. I'm not doing this to actually YouTube is stopping my flow so I so they won't pay me. And that's cool. I'm not doing this for that. I'm trying to win spirits. I'm trying to have people converted. Get some understanding. Satan is clever. He dips in the scriptures and he confuses people. So you have to understand, Satan. Tried to tell Yeshua in the wilderness when Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit, not Holy Ghost. The KJV said that Yeshua was full of the Holy Ghost, but led by the Spirit. The NIV says that Yeshua was full of the Holy Spirit and led by the Spirit. But my question for the KJV with this scripture, which is Luke 4 chapter 1, if Yeshua was full of the Holy Ghost, how come he wasn't led by the ghost? Hallelujah! See, that's how slick Satan is. We have to also know that when we say certain things demonically and we don't even realize we're saying and we think we're saying it of God, we're praising Satan. Satan sent back. Yes! Yes, 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 they don't even know. We are giving Satan praise. When we keep saying that we are born again Christians right now, we are giving Satan praise. He's sent back. Yes, yes, yes. They don't know. They know. They don't found it. Yes, yes. They giving me praise. <laughs> That's the reason why John the Baptist and Jesus said, repent, repent. You have to repent. Whether you know or not, you have to repent because once you repent, then you're going to be filled with the truth. But if you keep holding on to lies, it's not going to be no room for the truth. <laughs> when he tried to tempt Jesus with lies, talking about what he's going to do and give him, and he already knew who Jesus was, but he just gave it a try. It don't hurt to try. That's how, that's how Satan think. It don't hurt to try. I got the opportunity I'm going for. I know who Jesus is, but I'm going for it anyway. Why? Because he fasting. He can't eat. <laughs> but, my, but, but the thing is, when he tried to tempt Jesus, he was telling him all these lies about what he going to give him if he worship him and this turn this into bread, trying to prove him wrong. And, and Jesus beat him. Jesus took the throne from Satan by beating him with the sword, which is the word of God. As it is written, you have to go to war with these evil spirits with the word of God. If you don't know scripture, you're going to be defeated. That's how Jesus overcame it. But when Satan was tempting him, he was tempting him with lies. That's how uh, uh, Adam lost it. Adam could have had an opportunity to take the throne, but he lost it. Because of Eve, he felt he was accomplished with Eve shenanigan. So we are to thank God that, that God sent Jesus and Jesus overcame it. Because now he has the throne, but first we have he has to get his church because a husband need a wife. Huh? A husband need a wife. So he's waiting on his bride, the true church. To come together so we can be as one in a new kingdom to come. In a new age, a new world. See, all this is going to be gone. We're going to put a new world here. But the kingdom is the, tr is the true church all over the place. When we come together, that's that bride. We are one forever. So right now, it's going to happen. It ain't no if this happening. No, we're, it's going to happen. But the thing about it, the true church got to be on point. We got to overcome just like Jesus did. When we overcome evil, evil obstacles and circumstances, when we overcome that, we, we win it. We are defeating. We keeping our position. We're going <sighs> to... Revelation 3.21. Let me go to Revelation 3.21. I don't want to hold this up. I don't want to take too long. I just need people to understand this. What 
kingdom to come means. The kingdom is here. He said the kingdom is near. The kingdom is here, but we're spread it out. We're embryos right now waiting to be developed and then born into the kingdom. Revelation 3.21. 3.21. To the one who is victorious, I will give the right. Here we go with that right, meaning privilege. I will give them the privilege to sit with me on my throne. Just as I was victorious and sat down with my father on the throne. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne. Even as I also overcame. And am set down with my father in the throne. Tempting Jesus is Matthew 4, Matthew 4, 4, Matthew 4, 7, Matthew 4, 10. Overcoming Satan with scripture. We have to go to war and win with scripture. That's our sword. That's how you overcome it. You can't go to war with these demons physically. That's what Satan wants you to do. That's, that's why he's so slick. Oh, I'm going to do but the road rage and, and all. I'm going to get out of my car and I'm going to slap you. I'm going to hit you with, with my bed. I'm going to shoot you. Now, that's, 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 not, that's not winning. That's, that's giving Satan what he wants. He, yes, 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 yes. They doing my will. They doing what I want them to do. Yes, they praising me. Yes, see? When we give in fleshly, Satan is being, we praising Satan. <laughs> See, when we go to war with these demons out here, spiritually, the way God tell us to do, we're praising God. We're being obedient by his commands. We're being obedient by God and we trust in God to protect us and fight our battles when we go with the word using that sword. But see, we like, I don't care about all. I ain't doing all. I'm finna shoot him. I don't care. I'm finna slap him. I'm finna snap. Uh, uh, uh. No. And then we in jail or we in a hospital or we lost our job. We lost our home. We lost our car. We lost our kids. It's consequences when we do what we want to do fleshly because we are praising Satan. When we're tempted by Satan, especially right now during Lent, when we're fasting, when we're tempted by Satan, we got to rebuke him with scripture. Get thee behind me, Satan. Huh? Get thee behind me. When we fight against Satan with scripture, guess what? We got, we got James 4, 7. Submit, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. See, when we fight against Satan using scripture, using scripture, we are submitting to God. But when we fight Satan fleshly, trying to prove ourselves to Satan, we are submitting to Satan. <laughs> that's how slick he is. I'm going to keep provoking. I'm going to keep doing that. And that's what makes it hard because we're physical. And that's why he gave it a try with Jesus, because Jesus was, was physical. <laughs> so he said, you're hungry. You hungry. Turn one stone to bread. I'll give you this. Prove me wrong. Jesus was like, look here. <laughs> Not at all. My purpose on why I'm here is to defeat you. Huh? My purpose is not just to be doing it, it's to be doing it and proving that I can fast and I can go hungry. Without. No, my purpose is to overcome the throne of Satan. My purpose is to take it from you. So this is my strength. Hungry, broke him. See, and that's how you overcome it. So for those who talk, he, he talking about the devil and all, because it's demons in you. It's demons in you. Or you either just scared, like I said, you scared to reboot. And, and like I say, most of these people on here are just looking for likes. It's business people, and they're not teachers. They just on here looking for likes and want YouTube to pay them. That's all. Every time I introduce someone to my channel, they say, oh, you got only 40 subscribers. Or you only got 19 views. I ain't looking at that. Huh? Oh, so if I had millions of subscribers and millions of views, you would be able to find it interesting? Ah, ah, yeah. So that's what's happening. 
The difference in people who are the truth and those who are fake. First of all, if you are sitting behind your computer or your phone and you know deep down inside you doing what you're doing in the hopes of being liked by the world and hoping that you can do your best for you to to find favor in you, you are not serving God. You are serving yourself and the world. And that's what Satan is looking for. You know, if you are a true called out one and you don't care rest, but yeah, I said it. You don't care rest, but about subscribers. Not saying I don't care about the subscribers who do subscribe. I'm not disrespecting subscribers, but I'm saying the numbers. If you are a true called out one and you're not really caring about the numbers and, and, and thumbs ups and all that, you don't care about that. That's not what you're doing that for. You care about hoping that people can understand scripture. We need some people out here to fight these demons. We need people to understand the kingdom to come. We, we, that's what we want. We are servers of God now with all understanding. See, without understanding, you're going to be going by your own understanding, doing things and thinking you're doing things for God. Oh, God love me. I, I know he loved me because I'm saying something about God. But at the same time, I'm just hoping I can get. I know people that may pray that they can get millions of subscribers. Millions of views so they can get a plat a YouTube plat. This is not about us. Once we're called out, it's not about us no more. That's how I could tell that I'm, I'm around a lot of fake want to be called out, which is ecclesia. A lot of fake ecclesias out there. I know. I have discernment. I I know what I'm listening to and who I'm seeing. I know what they're doing. I know a lot of people that do a lot of shorts, which don't make no sense. A lot of shorts and TikTok videos. How are you a teacher teaching? All you do is shorts. All you do is TikToks. I'm not under who learning. What are you teaching in a five second video? You have to understand, people, we are teachers. Once we're called out, we are servers of God. We have to serve by teaching the good news. So the, the kingdom to come is us, the called out ones. We're waiting. We're, we're, we're the kingdom in embryo. Why? Because after Yeshua took the throne from Satan when Satan tried to uh, tempt him in the wilderness. He won that battle. That was the battle right there. Jesus won that battle. And so right now, right now as we're speaking, right now as you're listening, Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua is waiting, see, for the sake of the elect. Right now, we're we're trying to get it together as that church. He still got people who is who's being called to. So we're developing. We're right now not yet fully developed, but we're right now just embryos developing. And when we, that's why we got to be ready. We don't know when Jesus is coming back, <laughs> but I know one thing: when Jesus come back, the called out ones better be ready because when Jesus come back, that's when he's getting his true ready bride. He's getting his bride that's ready. Come on, let's go. And boom, we're going to be born into the kingdom. And we're going to live forever happily and serving. And we're going to be preparing for the great white throne. God bless you.